Hi everyone, I just wanted to show the uh, Blu-rays that I picked up in the last week. Not too many, only, only three. But there's some interesting ones in here. So First up, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. This looks great on Blu-ray. And this was a blind buy for me. It was actually... I don't know if you ever go on uh, that guy with the glasses.com, but this was one of the nostalgic <clears throat> nostalgia chicks favorite movies, so I decided to give it a give it a shot. It was only eight bucks on Amazon and it was a lot of fun. It has Robert Downey Jr. who's always a blast to watch, even if the movie around them isn't good, but this one's good. And yeah, there's nothing too interesting about the packaging itself, but this looks kinda cool. So there it is. Pretty neat, huh? Okay. Next up was kind of the big release for this past week. And that's Life of Pi. And this movie really surprised me, actually. During the uh, last Academy Awards, I was kind of puzzled as to why this movie got s probably more nominations than any other movie in 2012. But after watching it, I kind of get it. So, And this looks amazing on Blu-ray. But there's this one scene... Maybe there's something wrong with my copy, but there's just one scene where it goes four by three for like a couple seconds. I don't know what that's about. If that happens on your copy too, just uh, leave a comment or whatever if you want. I don't know, it's not a big deal, whatever. And, hold on. Oh, I can't even take, I only have one hand, sorry. I mean, the disc is just like the same as the cover, so what do you see? <clears throat> But yeah, this this was great. The uh, Richard Parker here, he was one of the most convincing CGI characters I've ever seen. And despite the fact that he is always portrayed as a wild animal, like he's not anthropomorphic at all. You believe the relationship that these two build together, and it's it's pretty remarkable. So check this out if you haven't seen it. And next up is uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Now, I mean, there's kind of an interesting story, be not behind the movie, but me trying to find this. Now, I went out on Tuesday to go pick this up, and I couldn't find it. And it came out on Tuesday. So, I was really confused and kind of annoyed that I couldn't get it anywhere. But, I picked it up today, and I saw this sticker on here, which is... Hold on, let's see if it is focus. There we go. The, there's a correction sticker on it. So my guess is that what's in here isn't really what's listed in here. At least in terms of, I think it's aspect ratio and subtitles, they kind of misprinted on here. So they have to pull the copies and stick the sticker on it, which is why I couldn't find it until today. But yeah, let's, I haven't opened this yet. So this is the, uh, obviously I don't know the picture quality or anything like that because I just opened it. Oh, something interesting in here. But yeah. Now, this is a Disney movie, but it's kind of, kind of a bit more mature than the average Disney movie. So they released it under their touch tone label there and it's also emblem as well because it's uh, produced by Steven Spielberg so I'm actually kind of disappointed with the artwork on these or the lack of they could have I don't know just to it's about a guy who goes into a world filled with cartoons you think they would have done something a bit more interesting than blue and gray but who gives a shit really okay that's all I got not a big haul, but cool movies nonetheless. Thank you for watching.